Howdy, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa. <clears throat> yes, we still have some uh, wildfire smoke around the <clears throat> Seattle area, and it was super foggy this morning, so it's probably all just in everything I was breathing today. Excuse me. I apologize. Wow. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, uh, let's get the commercial out of the way first. Could you subscribe? I'm, I got a BHAG. That's a big, hairy, audacious goal. I'm looking to get to 1,000 subscribers, and then I want to give away guitar. So, you know, there's there's good stuff at the end of that BHAG, but uh, I'm getting there slowly, and any, any little bit helps, and thank you for everyone who subscribed so far. You guys are awesome. Um, Yesterday, uh, I also did, uh, I, I recorded another video. Um, I've never done that before. I recorded it right after uh, the one I, that I put out yesterday. Um, and I, I'm not sure that I'm, well, I definitely didn't want to release it today. And I, when yesterday, when I uh, thought about releasing it yesterday, I, I went and looked and apparently the, uh, the algorithms for YouTube do really um, penalize you for publishing more than once in a day. Or, or at least they used to. So I'm kind of uh, experimenting with that right now. I'm going to wait until 24 hours today. Not going to release that other one. The uh, the but that that sound one. I'm going to let you guys decide uh, if you want to see it or not because it gets kind of emotional. And I'm gonna I'll try and explain it a little bit uh, and not get too far. Um, and then I'm going to try and explain because uh, the other question was uh, well not a question. It was I love 12 strings but I don't know how they work and. I, I actually get that a lot and as a former computer technician because one of the things that I loved about being a computer tech was having somebody like taking apart somebody's computer and going, come here, come here, you want to see your computer? And they'd be like, oh, it's like, yeah, that, that's what the, the guts of your computer looks like. And that's it, man. It's just, it's parts, man. Parts, that's it. So um, I'll explain that in a minute. But uh... ah, thank you. Uh, but um, when... Oh, I just lost myself again. That was awesome. Uh, not really. I am from the 60s, so, you know, losing myself. I was born in the 60s, not, in, I, but and I was only around for a couple of years in the 60s, so I'm not that into it. So, um, not like I was at Woodstock. They would have frowned on me being at Woodstock. I was one. <laughs> so, you know, um, <clears throat> but I lose myself kind of like, like that sometimes um and i i completely forgot what i was gonna gonna say uh i anyway so let's get back to um let's get back to the to how these things work here um basically how they work so um especially with with uh telecasters they, they're pretty awesome because telecasters are, are actually and this has got to be leo fender because well, with the bridges on these things, most of them come with both options of having uh, top loader and uh, and um, string through. And that's how you accomplish uh, getting all the strings in there, because that's what this is. So the main string, the, the thicker one, is just is, is a string through, and, and that's the E string. And then you get the top loader, and it's all it is is just a lighter gauge string, and it's supposed to be one octave higher, except for these two. So it's that's all it is, and and they're right together so that they can be you know complementary. That doesn't sound right. Complementary to each other, kind of like um, I don't know if you've ever heard of a, of a, a dulcimer. Um, a, a dulcimer has a drone string on it, and it's it's like kind of the same theory, but the drone actually moves with you. You know what I'm saying? So it, it changes key as you do, or it changes pitch, I guess, as you do. So, but that's all it is, it's just two strings right together and there. It's just an octave higher than the other one, except for the, the high E and the B, and those are just the same. And the G is where you start getting. Oh, about being emotional. Um. Thank you. Uh, so hopefully that explains your, your question a little bit because all it is is literally just um, the one string, you know, the, the fat one, and then the little one right next to it. And it's it's just complimentary, one octave higher, if they're in tune. And it just sounds amazing. Like everybody, everybody I know loves 12 strings anyway. But... Um, the, the 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 sound thing that why the stereo is um and i yeah i had to actually look and it was probably sarcasm about that comment but 
and I can totally take sarcasm. That's cool. That's that's my first language. So, but I that's how messed up my brain is sometimes. That uh, I I didn't know that it was sarcasm. I had to go listen to myself. And you're right, the sound is still messed up. To me, that is always a stab in my heart, though, just because what that is is telling me that I'm not a human anymore. I'm not, and to that. That, that is, and I'm saying that because that is how society has led me to believe I'm not a human anymore because I can't work. Because that, this, that, this stuff right in front of me, all these computers, that used to be my job. I mean, literally, uh, I tried to explain this in the, that other video where I got super emotional. But, you know, picture an office building and you picture this, this big ass office building and you get a T1 line that comes in. From there, we were responsible for everything to your computer beyond your computer to your phones to program to, to your desk phones we were anything technological we were responsible for so <clears throat> something as simple as not being able to get this shit in stereo both pisses me off and terrifies me because all this stuff i used to be my job and i used to be have to do this in seconds not you want to want to know another really good one? My TV got all messed up um, because it's you know technology and it's um, you have your set top box and then you have your other you know TVs. So the one in the living room was fine. That is the main set top box. My other TVs weren't getting anything, and it kept saying that the cable wasn't connected. Cable wasn't connected. Cable wasn't connected. And all I kept getting from the from the people at uh, at the uh, the ISP because they want out of the TV business, so they really don't even want to fix your TV. If it was broken, they'd be happy. Um, they they've always said reset the entire system. I did that like eight or ten times. Finally, I was like, okay, I used to do this shit for a living. What is the dumbest thing that they could have come up with? I mean, the stupidest thing to get this thing to work. So I had already rebooted the system, and I started thinking about it like. Let's just reboot the router. Just the router. Why this has anything to do with the set-top boxes, which all go through, you know, it comes in uh, on fiber and then goes through the, the, the whole old place through coax cables that are all, all, all run, you know, into the walls. I know this. I used to do this for a living. I asked when they installed it. That's how it goes. Um, it couldn't have been a cable. I touched nothing. I reset the system. It was the router. It was the router. The freaking router. Now everything works. Everything actually works now better than before. Took me five, six days to figure that out. That should be something that I do in minutes, not days. And that is why I get terrified. And that is why I, I understand there's a problem with the sound. But that is also why it's been so slow to fix it. Because that is absolute terror for me that is my life is over that is i can't do anything and i'm not even a human being anymore and this came out a lot better than it did yesterday so thank you and if you're you stuck around to the end thank you for that um again if you could like comment subscribe that's awesome and uh always look up he's there for you i'll see you then Peace.